this is the Quebec countryside by La Duo Pro Mapping. It's 66.30 megabytes to download. The description says, Welcome to Quebec in a small town inspired by reality. 52 fields, 5 farms inspired by reality, 97 purchasable plots, several forest areas, multiple cell points, and there are collectible items on the map. It does say at the bottom, recommended mod, the AGI pack, but that isn't a necessity. I'll talk about that when we get into the map itself. But there is five required mods for you to download to be able to play the map properly. They are Old Cow Shed for Cows, Hall for Machinery, American Silos Pack, USA White Farm Building Pack, and Metal Hall with Silo. They will automatically download once you start downloading the map. That's if you don't already have them installed. Right, let's go and check it out. And here we are. This is where you start off in all three modes. This is what the map looks like. And there is a huge variety of build shapes and sizes on here, as you can see. And it's all sort of split up into chunks as well. Lots and lots of forestry, again, all split up, ranging from very small right up to quite large pieces of land, which is nice. So there is five farms. The farms are kind of all split down this road here. Um, we'd start off down here at the store. And then around here, we've got all the sort of productions and sell points. But there's going to be plenty of room on this map to place down other production, sell points, things like that. There isn't a BGA on here. I did buy up all the plots of land. Um, that's what it sort of splits it up into. Now, the only plot you can't buy is down here. It does look like that's plot 97, all of that. But 97 is that small chunk there, which is basically that there which we'll check out in a second but this plot here i'm clicking on it can't buy it and that's all sort of residential some houses there and a baseball arena everything else is pretty much fair game so yeah in terms of the forestry areas look at this 695 grand and then you can go right down to this little plot 3444 so absolute variety there for everyone start off small fields again as well this is a big boy 675 grand and then we've got really tiny bits sort of like that 12 grand i think there's an even cheaper one down here somewhere 5556 for that little field there so varies a lot now you don't need to own these farms to be able to use the bits and bobs that are on there so there's some cow sheds on a couple of them there's um tmr mixing silos and things like that we'll check all them out in a second the only one you do need to buy is this one and that's because there's a farmhouse just there and it's not showing now i don't believe we can use it until we buy it it does ping up when we get down there i will remember to buy that so that's the only thing really you need to buy for it to show up on the map. But new farmer mode, this is our starting farm up here. So we've got two plots of land, plot two, 30,468. That is like the main farm of all the buildings, farmhouse, things like that. And we've got this field, which is 40 grand like so. And we are going to check that out. So what I think we will do is we'll hop up to the farm straight away. We'll check all that out and we'll work our way down because all these other farms are sort of based off this road down here. And then everything else, production, sell points all around here. So we'll check that out. I think that's it. We will leave it there. So we'll stay in this menu. There is 20 collectibles. They are the game cartridges, 50 grand a piece. I have found a couple already. Um, productions and like I say you don't need to own these some of these aren't on our farm but we do start off with two fermenting silos a large and a small so basically you can produce silage from chaff grass hay or straw it's like for like which is nice decent mods and we've got two large TMR silos so we can mix up TMR with that recipe there that's on the screen so very nice indeed these two aren't on our farm and one of these isn't so just goes to show that we can use them without owning the land 
contracts available on properties or fields I should say that we don't own and as you can see that is the animal pens that we've got access to um, there's our equipment we'll check that out there's no custom crops or added in items for us to sell extra things at all base game by the look of it and the crop calendar is base game as well and that is it so what i will do is hop up to the farm and we'll go through slot counts and everything now i think and mods now the only mods that are in this map are the required mods so i won't go into too much detail but they are um scattered around they are all placeable so they're all going to be in your build mode and i'll go through the agi pack sort of thing in a second as well but slot counts and equipment so in new farmer mode it is 1110 slots so you start off with this equipment We've got three medium tractors a john deere 4755 john deere 7810 a massey ferguson 3670 Deutsch Fahr Harvester, got the 86 Lizard Pickup, we've got a Valga Trailer, Header for your Harvester, Cultivator, a Cedar, and then the Header Trailer. That is it. Now, if you don't want any of that equipment, you can sell it all off and get it down to 1013. There is potential to get the slot count down to, I believe it was 990, because you can sell off all the buildings at the other farms. The only one thing that it wouldn't let me sell down on one of the farms was a jet wash. I don't know why, but it wouldn't let me sell that. Everything else I got rid of on those farms. And that is the slot count for farm manager and start from scratch, 990. Because you come on here, you start off with nothing. Now, interestingly enough, all of these buildings here at this starting farm, none of them are here. All the buildings at all the other farms in Farm Manager and Start From Scratch are there. So this is a complete empty space. So you could come up here if you want and start with a blank canvas. So that's the slot counts. Now if I go into this mode again, there's the AGI pack. Now basically, because it says recommended, all you're getting really is basically the flot, uh, flot, the flat bottom bins and then these auger pipes or conveyor belts whatever you want to call them you do get that seed treatment liquid but um i've not used that so if you're not too worried about any of that i mean there's plenty of mods you can get flat bottom bins mod um mods out there as well as these pipes conveyor belts so if you're not bothered about the agi pack you don't need to install it and what i like as well I'll show you up in landscaping mode. There is one of the bins there. When you load in without the AGI pack selected, which I did, it's not obvious where they were. So what I mean by that is sometimes when you load into a map and you haven't selected something or if you're in farm manager or something and things are missing, you sometimes get a patch of an area of dirt or grass like that. And it's really obvious that something was there or should be there but with these when you load in and there's some on the other farms you can't tell it's just normal grass it just looks like that so that's pretty cool you don't need to have them but it basically means that if you load in without that you're not going to have any silos on any of the other farms which is fine in my eyes so you can do what you want right so mods that was obviously part of the agi pack the others, like I said, we'll find in build mode. I'll come over this way. I'm not going to really go into too much detail, as I said. There's quite a few in sheds, and it's all split up. I mean, there's a shed there for part of the AGI pack, like so. We've got haul for machinery, but these are all the required mods. So I'll just show you roughly where they are. I won't go into detail what they are. Again, silos, we've got all these AGI pack ones. We've got usa white farm ones um there wasn't any there there is in containers we've got a water tower there farmhouses there's a farmhouse there it's part of that pack productions and in factories we've got all these fermenting silos we've got drying silos so you can basically turn grass into hay by dumping it in there we've got one for pig food 
and there's TMR ones there at the end and then there's, they're all part of the American silos pack these ones and then right at the end we've got another fermenter there which is part of the USA White Farm pack um, in greenhouses we've got this little fellow which is quite cool so it's a little vegetable patch kind of thing that's part of the USA White Farm pack as well a lot of you will be very familiar with that pack so you'll know how to use things better than what I will probably because I haven't really used that um, in generators we've got this little windmill at the end which is nice and then into animals we've got a couple of cow sheds there again from different packs added in there's one for pigs and chickens and we also get a different dog kennel which is nice which is part of the usa white farm back as well now back up and go to decoration and others right at the end we've got a few different things there from the usa pack as well i believe that is it so if we go to landscaping and painting just standard textures animal mud asphalt concrete dirt forest ground grass dry grass gravel rock granite that's it there's nothing extra in trees or plants that is it thank you right that's all that bit out of the way i sometimes feel that that goes on too long that bit but then i get a lot of people saying they like to hear all that um this is our farmhouse very nice that we can go inside we do have a sleep trigger indoors nice and we can open some of these doors as well this is the wardrobe out here in the workshop we can go out through this door and we can go out through this door like so which is nice back around there where the pickup is got a workshop here base game one so pull up in front of the yellow and black lines there and then do that jet wash we've got a large fuel tank is empty but as we most of us know we can fill that up up to 25,000 liters so we can just buy it straight to the farm now this had me a little bit puzzled again it's not a mod i've used so i don't know if i've missed a trick here or it's just not you know supposed to work in that way on this map but this is the metal hall with silo mod um it's just a shed though i don't know where the silo bit comes from i've checked in silos couldn't see anything Originally I thought that was going to be a bunker solo but I come into here with the help menu on and nothing shows up so it's just a shed from what I can see. There's our equipment in there, we do have lights over here though which is cool. So like so, there is a big door out the back. And here's our field here, now if I go up into landscaping mode again, what I like is if you bought this big fella out the back, you could plow that together it's just a grass strip there and have one huge field if you want to we've got a liquid manure extension for your slurry which is nice and then we come around here i think i'll start this end actually we've got a karma 16 so it's for mineral feed or seeds so you can buy them again so buy it there collect it just there and this is part of the usa white farm pack this is the cow shed so we can open all these like so that will hold 45 cows they will roam in and around here which is nice now some of these triggers i wasn't quite sure about but again like i said earlier a lot of you guys will probably use this and know how it works but what i do like is a lot of it's already sort of labeled up so you can tell where things are which is nice but straw trigger i got through here ignore that one a second this one i wasn't quite sure on i'm guessing it's another feed trigger it does say feed silo there i think you have to put feed in separately if i run around this side i basically made some silage out of there just to test that was working and it allowed me to tip the silage into here so i think you have to tip some in there some inside possibly to feed your cows i'm not quite sure there we go because originally i thought that was the out point for that fermenting silo but it's not that is all inside so you tip in there with your grass chaff etc and then the pipe actually comes through the wall look so that is where you collect or well, that's where i collected my silage 
can just about manage that from there but obviously we can just go into this menu and do that it's not a problem so apologies for not knowing all that um, this is our slurry collection point again it does tell you on the back there look liquid manure so nicely done and if I run around the back we can go up this ramp this is a pretty cool touch open this up this is going to be like a storage so for your bells as you can see field info right at the bottom total capacity zero out of 250 so putting your bells in and taking them out and if i remember rightly they all appear over in there so we can store bells up in there that's nice and if we run around this side now we do have this here and we can go inside now again if you're not familiar with that if you're wondering what that is i you can if we go into animals go to chickens if i select this here which is part of the usa white farm buildings pack because it's men are all sort of fit together just about where my character is there's a little hole in the fence so you can line that up with that little hole there in the wall because that's where your chickens are going to run in and out does mean you're going to lose a bit of your track there though if you did do that but there was a map i can't remember what it was now it was by cali i think that had all this set up i can't think what it was white farm was it something like that but it had all that set up so pretty cool i do remember that milk point just there and then the manure was going to be over here that was labeled up wasn't it so i think that's it really and then that's our flat bottom bin so collecting out of there and you're going to need your pipe auger thing to go up there right i think that is that farm that is probably going to be the longest part of the map tour everything else is pretty straightforward now so we'll head on down I haven't got far to go before we get to the next farm i won't jump out for most of these farms because it's all sort of things you already know so farmhouse there sleep triggers on the porch another one of those large fuel tanks another flat bottom bin do have this shed here which we can open and bear in mind we don't own these plots of land so we can use all the sheds oh if i can get out another karma 16 and then we have two of these and this is the what mod was this the old cow shed for cows so there's one there going that way and then one going that way this will hold 40 cows milk collection point there there is lights in here as well there we go feed and straw triggers through here and then we can go all the way through we've got a slurry collection point there but we can open these doors if we want to there's also lights for the outside ones there like so we've got two manure extensions for your slurry and then that's the same building but going that way so i won't go into detail too much with that um, can you get up the top? I haven't noticed. I don't think we can, can you? No. And then another one of those sheds down the end here. We've got a jet wash next to it as well. But this is that silo shed, I think. Yeah, it's down the end. But it's just a shed from what I can tell. So there we go. Let's just run across someone's crop. That's that farm. That's just decorative over there. It's not a farmhouse. And then if we whiz around this road, we've got a bit of forestry, mainly to our left. And then the next farm's just here on the right hand side. When I pull in, we have got farmhouse again with sleep trigger as you can see. Another one of those sheds we just went in. Another large fuel tank. Again, another flat bottom bin, part of the AGI pack, but you don't have to have it. Um, uh, slurry extension tank. This is a base game cow shed, so slurry out there. Most of you guys will probably use this one.
speed and straw through there. We've got another Karma 16. Now these guys are the TMR silos, so tip in all your ingredients there. We can squeeze around the back to manage them like so. So you're gonna need slurry, sorry, slurry, silage, hay and straw to make our TMR, get it right. And you may have seen the pipes poke through this wall, both here, look, which is right in our feed trigger zone, which is quite cool. So just running in and out of a trailer, pretty good, nice and easy. This will hold 80 cows, and there's your milk collection point just there. They will appear out there. There's also another one of those big silo shed thingamajiggies. That is that farm. Moving on down, we have this guy. I think this is the one we need to buy for this farmhouse to show up. And that is the farmhouse. Again, it's the farmhouse that we saw at the very start on our farm. If I go inside, I might not even be able to go inside. No, so it won't let me. So just right where I am stood, but now here, nothing showing if i buy that plot of land 72 grand just over farmhouse shows up now look and we can go inside oh we're gonna need to get a strimmer out i think <laughs> there we go right so i wasn't expecting that but like i say you can sell off all these buildings if you don't want them here it's not a problem pretty good one for multiplayer though plenty of farms um, big easy shed there, another fuel tank, workshop, jet wash, big shed. These are the base game flat bottom bins. So again, like I say, you don't need the AGI one. We've got all base game stuff, plenty of modded things as well. We've got two huge sheds on this farm as well. It's these ones. Turn the lights on wherever we are. There's another one over there. Do have a way station over there if we want to do that and then down in this side we've got the cow building again like we saw at our farm so i won't go into detail there there's another karma 16 a jet wash just there um, another one of them fermenting silos a smaller one and the flat bottom bin now these flat bottom bins have got the extensions next to them as well so you can hold more on them which is nice and we've got some slurry extension there as well there's a workshop trigger across the road and the farmhouse for that farm is there as well sleep trigger on the porch there we go that is all the farms guys so we're going to head down to the bottom of the map to where we spawned in that is the shop area which is just here on the left so shop icon there if we run around the back we've got a nice workshop trigger area just here and a huge area at the back and this is going to be your reset point or if you buy lease anything it's going to appear there so that's our shop area we're gonna head on down turn left here a few houses in amongst these trees and then we kind of open up into the more residential area now the only thing I haven't spotted is any people walking around pedestrians but we do have traffic as you can see and you've got all these areas look mind you is that in the area we cannot buy yeah that's a shame because that is a really nice flat placeable area bit of a shame you can't buy that but there you go so plenty of houses you can see the cars go all up and around them which is nice bit of baseball going on and then we're in amongst all the sort of sale points and productions so what I'm gonna do thanks for that is I'm gonna kind of do a loop so we'll go up this side and then we'll come back down around there so on our right hand side we have the grain mill next door to that great processing unit and then we've got the oil mill these two buildings are decorative I thought they might be sale points but they're not and then if we drive up into here we've got the cereal factory
again decorative right in front of us so we do have the dairy and then we've got a couple of sale points we've got the fast food restaurant sale point just there the diner and then around the back we've got the biomass heating plant sale point just here so we're going to go back down and across the bakery on the right hand side sugar mill carpentry a couple of sale points so we've got the farmers market just here on the right and then if we go around the back we've got the supermarket sale point just there most of these buildings are decorative just to bring it to life we've got a fuel station just there we've got the debris crusher over here and what is quite nice is this huge silos on our left we can use because this is one of them fellas like so 16 million liters so we can't even sell that look if you wanted some easy money we don't even own that land we can't buy that land oh yes we can actually can't we that is going to be the plot oh it's right on the edge there yeah but there you go there's a silo so again you don't necessarily need any flat bottom bins anywhere on the map you could come and do that if you want up this ramp we've got a sale point this is the co-op agricole and then down off the ramp and just in there we've got our animal dealer so if i jump out it's going to show all the ones we've just seen and that is pretty much it guys that's the map i'll pull over quickly show you what we did so we started off up there we came all the way down these road this road sorry checked out these farms like so did the shop up through there did these sell points and productions first and then come down like that i'm gonna whiz up through there as i close out just so you can see the sort of forestry either side i did find this road a little bit clunky so if i drive for a little bit i'll show you what i mean hopefully but um, that is the map guys, that's the Quebec countryside by Leduo Pro Mapping. Please let me know your thoughts, I always like to hear them. Um, pretty nice map though. Probably is will need a couple of little tweaks here and there, but most maps do these days. Yeah, so I'm going to just drive straight, I hit a couple of, it's not going to do it now is it? try and stay straight there's a little bit no absolutely perfect for the video <laughs> shut up snowy what are you going on about right but that's it guys thank you so much for watching i appreciate you staying to the end it's been quite a long time since i've done a map tour so i do feel quite rusty around the edges there apologies if i waffled on a bit too much but I'm getting back in the swing of things. But I hope you have enjoyed it, guys. If you have, hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. That would be awesome. And don't forget to smash the bell so you don't miss any future videos of mine. I've been Farm Sim Snowy. Stay frosty.